What is up guys? This is Rocket, this is Cinemasaurus Rex, and this is our brand new 5 Facts series about Godzilla. Now obviously we have just finished the short era, and we need a lot of catching up to do. 15 films to catch up on to be precise, so for the next 3 weeks, Monday to Friday, Every single day, there will be a brand new video with five facts about the films from the Showa series. And then, come the Heisei era, we will then be running the five facts in sync. So later that week, either Wednesday, Thursday or Friday, we're going to find out five facts about the film just gone. So let's kick things off with five things about Gojira. Cinemasaurus Rex presents five monster facts about Godzilla. Number five. With any kaiju movie, the monster is always important. So designing such a thing was quite a task for Toho, and it went through multiple different designs. One such design was Godzilla with a head shaped like a mushroom. Nope, it wasn't a Koopa. Nope, it wasn't a Goomba. It was Godzilla with a mushroom head. It was actually intended to represent a mushroom cloud, as in the bombs that had been dropped in Japan just 10 years prior. Number four. For a long time, there was a common misconception that the name Godzilla was actually Americanized by the US distributors. But that is in fact a lie. It came from the idea of Toho themselves. Godzilla, or Godzilla, is actually the proper pronunciation of the Gojira in its native Japanese. <laughs> Sticking with original ideas for Godzilla, also the name wasn't set. Originally, the Godzilla was actually called Angiras, a name which would later be carried on and used by another monster, Angiras, that was used in the next film, Godzilla Reds Again. Number two. We all know that any Godzilla film needs good miniature work. I mean, to get an imposing figure, you're gonna need small scale things. But did you know that the miniature work in Godzilla was so impressive, it actually inspired one George Lucas? And he states that this film was one of the inspirations for effects used in Star Wars. So I bet you didn't know. George Lucas, big G fan. No. Sticking with special effects, the electrical towers that Godzilla melts with his radioactive breath were actually made of wax. So the special effects crew melted them by blowing hot air on them, as well as shining a hot studio light on them for them white hot effects. And that's the kind of movie magic you just can't hold a candle to. <laughs> <laughs> 